look, I, I love this image because I, I'm you. I'm really sitting there like many of you. I'm a Roxbury kid. I, I am from Roxbury. My family's from here. I'm a regular inner city kid, you know, grew up uh, by Washington Park playing ball every day, at least try to. What did you do most when you were younger to accomplish what you do now? You know, I wasn't the best student in school. Not that I'm proud of that, but I wasn't the best student. Like, you know, I was really, I guess, academically insecure. You know, I was afraid um, to show people that I really didn't know what I was doing in school. And so because of that, I was distracted. And I did things in school that I really wasn't supposed to do. I got in trouble, but I did that because I was afraid. You know, I was afraid for the real great to show that I didn't know how to read well at the time. I didn't want to stand up in front of the classroom. So instead, I skipped the class. And I left the class or hid in the bathroom or went to play cards or did something that I wasn't supposed to do just to run for myself because I was afraid of doing it. And a lot of things that really brought me back to make me feel secure about myself was sports. Because when I got together in sports, I found out that we all needed each other. And sports taught me to depend on every person beside me, in front of me, behind me. And it helped me back when I got into school because it made me feel more secure about myself. Um, and I, I only stopped that way, I didn't finish this way, but I wanted to let you know that I just wasn't the best student starting out. You know, for me, for you guys, at the end of the day, trust me, I am you, I'm the same person. All my parents are from both projects, Orchard Park and Leonard Street. My grandparents are from the housing projects. And there's nothing special about me, except I got out of my own way. Don't get in your own way. Don't be afraid of yourself like I was. I was afraid to fail and to have people laugh at me. Get out of your own way and get out there and do something. And don't be afraid of failing. You've got good people around you. Hello, Mr. Janey. My name is Jaden. I attend at the um, Rafael Hernandez School in um, Roxbury. Um, so I have a two-part question for you, and then I have hey. another question for you. So part one of the two-part question was, um, what inspired you to be in business? Um, I think... I don't like to be told what to do. So I grew up in a big family, 18 months apart, four brothers, two sisters. My older brother always told me what to do. My mother and father told me what to do. Nothing wrong with that. They, I'm sure they told me the right thing. But I was the kind of kid that really didn't like to be told what to do. And I guess the only reason, only way I could control that is to stop my own business. And that way I can do whatever I wanted to do, as long as it was in good nature. Okay. So I guess I found a way to take a negative thing and turn it into a positive. How do I take my shortcoming by not being told what to do and turn it into something positive? Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to help us become better, per better people and to help us kind of grow our minds in a way so we can have an, a vision or idea of how we want to end up when we grow up. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, I want to respond to that. You guys, you know, I, I am serious. You guys are showing me how much work I need to do. I mean, your honesty and the pure sense of your soul is, is moving to me. It's, you know, every time I feel like I've done something, you all remind me, oh my God, how much work I have to do, how much I really haven't done. Um, and it excites me. I love work. I love building all of us. So I need to say thank you. You know, thank you. I know this isn't the end, but thank you for listening. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people be like a boss of a job, but I haven't really seen a lot of people of color that are like a boss of a job who have their own company. And I was just wondering, how do you like, how do you go through it seeing sometimes that you could be the only person that's a, that's a man of color in, in, a, in a business? 
you know, that's a good question. Uh, most of it is because I'm hard-headed. I'm, I'm hard-headed. Think about it this way. Some people ask the question, why? Some people say, why not? I'm the why not person. I figure, why not? Why not be the first everything? First person on the moon, first black president, the first anything. I say, why not? We should all say, why not? Don't ask anything, be it. What I like about those challenges, I'm gonna call them challenges for a moment, because being uncomfortable is good. You know, being uncomfortable is good for me in that position, being the first black, a lot of things. I don't wanna bore you with the list, but it's also good for people who are not used to seeing the black person as a boss, as you just said. Because we all have to make this work. I mean, we're all people. It doesn't matter where we came from. I like it. I look for it. I look for it every single time because it adds a light for people like you to look across the street and see me as a boss on the job and say, man, if he can do it, I can do it. So I love being the first. I look forward to being the first every single time. I don't care if I don't know how to do it, if I'm uncomfortable, if I'm scared, because if you're not scared, you know, courage is built from being afraid. You gotta be afraid to have courage. And I'm scared a lot, but you gotta push through it. So I like being the first. But talk to me about this project-based learning core value that you have in this program. Give me an example of what that means and give me an outcome of somebody that traveled through, somebody organic, that, that tells me what it means and because of it, what it has done for them. So one of the uh, the projects that we've done is the uh, the tree, the identity tree, and like that basically like just helps us like reflect on ourselves and like what we want our future to be, like struggles and stuff like that. It's just. It was a project that like helped us find ourselves basically and i think it was something that really helped like not only like the students but like also myself like, something that i like about this program is that we can all share our our thoughts about our life and everybody in and three point treats everybody fairly and positively and this is it's not this is not only about playing basketball and stuff like that. This is a family that we have. When we do dance, it's not just dance that we do, it's not just basketball. They have us share how our day is going and they access things that we like and they, we do projects and we get to know each other. So um like you dear said, it's a family and it's not just like a program and there's like people I trust here and there's people that I consider family here and there's people that are just like that I that inspire me and three point is like a big part of my life now because before I was um I would dance but I didn't really get out there. Like I was on a dancing club, I didn't get out there until Miss Chrissy and Mr. Mitchell and everybody else like pushed me and inspired me to do better. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. I'm hearing community. I'm hearing trust. I'm hearing family. I'm hearing similar core values that are not really fancy. They're just the essence of what makes a human being feel good about themselves. And I love that you said all of you, it's not basketball. It's really what basketball gives to you, trust confidence, reliance, family, 